hey guys and welcome back to my channel i do appreciate it i just got done watching the movie the incredibles 2 and i'm just gonna basically just give you what my thoughts are on the movie and how i feel about the movie so here we go we're just gonna jump into it um the movie pretty much revolves around elastigirl <laughs> okay um she's really got some kick-ass moves i give her that but i pretty much wanted the movie to be about the whole family like 50 50. um i get the whole women empowerment and everything and that's cool but me personally i thought it was just about mr incredible story but they went another direction. Um, the director is Brad Bird, and he felt as though, you know, Elastigirl should be the face of the heroes coming back into modern day life instead of in hiding, since it's illegal for superheroes to even do anything or help people. Um, they really made Mr. Incredible look weak. And the home. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm all for women empowerment, don't get me wrong. It's just... Mr. Incredible didn't get as much shine as I wanted him to. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the one that wanted to be the superhero out of the family. Now, Mrs. Parr didn't mind staying at home and being with the kids, but I guess, you know, the siblings, uh, Mr. Dever and Evelyn Dever wanted, you know, Mrs. Parr to be the face of the superheroes coming back, which is fine because, I mean, her detective skills and she's flexible, like, she holds her own. She's one kid fast like strong woman like I have no problem with that you know she she pretty much was basically like the whole movie though yeah pretty much the whole movie um let me see <laughs> poor Mr. Incredible staying at home with the kids they really made him look weak like, I'm still on it. I mean, you know, The Incredibles is, you know, came out in 2004, so like 14 years later, after the whole mole mine, whatever, situation. <laughs> they, they just made Mr. Incredible weak, and I'm going to keep repeating myself and saying that. I really like Mr. Incredible, and I get that he's really destructive. But he's got super strength. Like, what do you expect? You expect him to be all nice and shit? Like, I don't get it. But anyway, um, is I'm just gonna go to my favorite characters. The plot was basically they want to bring back superheroes. Just a regular. The story was cool. Um, the voice characters back was, um, <laughs> my boy Craig T. Nelson was Mr. Incredible, Holly Hunter was back playing Elastigirl, and Samuel L. Jackson was Rosal. <laughs> um, Brad Bird also was, a uh, Edna Maud, or Maud. <laughs> I like and never okay. I love I love it. I love during the first one, I love her in the second one. So, um pretty much they're trying Elastigirl is trying to save, you know, the city from this villain named the Screensaver. Now before she's, you know, stuck the train or whatever. They wanted to do interviews with her. She's like, I'm not used to this. and But she held her own. She did her thing. 
poor Mr. Incredibles in the background, like, why me? Like, why do I have to stay at home? You know, he didn't really want to. I mean, he congratulated her, but that was his side of shade on Mr. Incredible. Still got love for him, you know? But he wanted to be out there. That was his dream. That's what he wanted. He feels as though that's what he is best at. You know what I'm saying? Um, but come to find out, he is good of taking care of the home as well. You know? They made him feel like he didn't know how to handle his kids. You know? And then with the course finding out Jack-Jack got superpowers, it's like... <laughs> it was, uh... It was adorable. Jack-Jack stole the show from me. And that's pretty much what I wanted to see was Jack-Jack. And I got that. Um, if you guys watched my previous top five um, Disney Pixar movies, it explains that all I wanted to see was Jack-Jack. Uh, I love his powers. He's got multiple powers. Or baby, he's he's a really he's going to... Now I want an Incredibles three just because of Jack Jack. I want to see how his powers evolve, like evolve and all that stuff. And you know, just let him be who he is. <laughs> Especially the fight scene with him and the raccoon. <laughs> That was so cute. Like, he was really whipping that raccoon's ass. Like, I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. This kid wants to be, a, he wants to be a superhero. And I think he's going to be a great superhero. So, hopefully they don't take 14 years to make Incredibles 3. Because I would, I would really like to see it. Um, my favorite characters, I'm going to say, was... Jack Jack, Edna Moon, and Edna didn't even play a big role in it. I mean, she made his um, Jack Jack's little super suit, so that was cute. But she, she wasn't really, you know, she wasn't in the movies for like until like ten minutes, I believe, not even. And then the villainess, which was Evelyn Dever, like. I don't know what it is about villains that I tend to go to, but that's who I liked in the movie. Um, she's played by, um, what's the voice character's name? Something Catherine. I didn't write it down, but Catherine Keener or something like that. But she did a good job. I liked Evelyn. Um, I had I already kind of figured that she was gonna play a role as the villain anyway. She just basically stayed to herself. She always stayed in the background. She let her brother have the spotlight, you know, because he was really big superheroes and stuff. Like their their parents died because because of you know bank robbers, whatever, getting inside the house. The sister felt as though, well, our dad could have saved us both if he would have just placed us in the safe room. But I guess, you know, their parents or the father thought, well, if I call one of the supers, they can help us. But he called, the father ended up calling both phones to each superhero they never picked up. So they ended up um I agree with the sister 100% I felt as though the father could have saved the mother but I mean that's the plot of the story that's how it that's how they played it out um her brother was just but he was just like full of hope and he was all about the superheroes and he wanted to get them back in I mean, because if you're a superhero, well, first of all, you're an illegal superhero um, and you're not supposed to be saving the world. That's wrong. But I'm glad at the end they made it legal for superheroes, you know, to kick ass and take names when it comes to the villains. 
but um my boy Frozone Samuel L. Jackson he held his um, I liked him oh he did a good job I like seeing him a lot more in this film we didn't get to see him as much in the 2004 movie but we got to see a lot of him here um <laughs> and I liked his <laughs> you know how they have the superhero songs his was like R&B and I was just like they were like Frozone. I was just like, "What's going?" I'm <laughs> like, "Of course, had to be the had to be the Black Arrow to have some kind of R&B soul type of music to <laughs> have as his uh <laughs> his song for a superhero." But I liked it though. It was dope. But uh, yeah, um, I didn't care too much for Violet. She was just a whiny, complaining you know just being an adolescent she was annoying to me dash he didn't get to do as much as he did in the first movie i was just like oh okay i just felt like a lot of the men can't, like mr incredible and dash they didn't get that much spotlight they you know they were doing they just didn't get that much spotlight so I like, I, I'll be real, I like Dash, Dash is cool, but again, all I wanted to see was Jack-Jack, and that's what I got, Jack-Jack is awesome, he's cool, all they need is a super dog, <laughs> that's all they need, that is all they need, and that would make my day, that would make my day, but that fight scene was my favorite scene with the uh, Jack-Jack and the raccoon, he was literally giving it to the raccoon, <laughs> I was just like, oh, this kid is not letting up. And then when Edna, you know, Moe took care of uh, Jack Jack, when Jack Jack actually changed into Edna, I was like, oh, the face. I was like, damn, this kid got, he got, he's got lasers. He gets angry, he turns into this monster. He turns into a fireball. He, he goes to, into dimensions. Like, this kid got everything. That's why Jack Jack gonna be that OP, that OP kid when he get older. Um, hopefully, you know when he gets older, he learns how to control his um, superpowers. But Jack Jack, he's the MVP for me. So now I'm gonna rate this movie. I before I rate the movie. I just, I really got sick and tired of Girl. I don't know what it was. Like, maybe because she got too much screen time. And I was just like, all right, I get it. Women empowerment. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. But I think it was just a bit too much for me. I wanted to see the whole family get their shine. And I didn't see that in the film. So, like, towards the end. I seen it, but <clears throat> excuse me, guys. It was I don't know. That's how I feel. I'm all for Mr. Incredible. Don't get me wrong, and I like the first film. This film, I mean, the kids were, were laughing and enjoying themselves. Even I did when it came to Jack Jack fighting the little raccoon. It was it was okay. It's just they put a lot of shine on us on us females on the women and i didn't mind i like the boy too my girl sophia bush that uh, played in wintry hill she's the voice casting of her <laughs> her character was like so hyped though she's like oh my god like she was like all, i was like okay girl calm down calm down well all all, you know it was it was a good movie it was a good movie <laughs> the animation was dope Graphics, you know, it's Disney Pixar. What do you expect? But yeah, I'm gonna rate this movie, and um, I'm gonna give it a C, and I'm giving it a C because I feel as though Mr. Incredible didn't get as much credit and most shine in the movie. They made it seem like he was just weak, like he was weak when he was a superhero and he's a weak empathetic dad 
in the home. I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate that at all. Like, they really just... I really like Ms. Incredible, just put it that way. And they made it seem like he didn't know what the hell he was doing at the end of the day, which isn't cool. So, I think Disney, Pixar, whatever, they need to change that. I feel as though everybody should be 50-50 equal when it comes to women and men. That's it. It shouldn't be one or the other. It should be 50-50. And I didn't get that in the film. But I did get my Jack-Jack. He was adorable and cute. So I'm straight. But I am going to give this movie a C. So um, again, guys, uh, please write your comments. What do you feel about the movie? What did you want to see? of the movie and do you want an Incredibles 3 because I know I do um hopefully again it don't take 14 years for them to get there but I, that's what I want but always please like and subscribe to my channel and um I'm out of here bye guys